what up you guys okay hold on there we go hi yeah all right so i'm tired of like the formal video so um i'm gonna do this like vlog-esque style story time in july or june i went to hawaii we are in january right now in july or june i went to hawaii I had a wonderful time there. When I came back, I caught COVID. <laughs> and I caught COVID from a Southwest airline, uh, a flight, right? And um, I was down, I was sick. I was like, I, I just, I was, I was feeling it. No, I, I had the normal symptoms, hard to breathe, um, fatigued. Didn't really want to eat. Lost a couple of pounds. You feel me? I had a. I got. I had the COVID cough. Everything. Everything you could imagine with, that came with COVID. I had. Um, I kind of freaked myself up. I ended up going to the hospital, and they ended up giving me an inhaler. And they was just like, "Girl, you fine. You at the end of your. Uh, you at the end of COVID. It's going away. Ain't nothing in your lungs. You cool." So I was like, "Okay." I did not know that there was a, certain, a such thing as a symptom of you losing your hair, like your hair shedding so much. And that's what happened to me. <laughs> My hair shedded so bad when it came to COVID, at the aftermath of it. So I'm gonna put, insert some clips of my hair when I was taking my hair down. This, these, this is months ago, but I have the clips of it and you can see the balls and balls of hair. Um, I might do a voiceover or I'll let the audio play. I don't know. I haven't really watched the clips, but I know I recorded it. So I'm going to show you guys that portion of, um, yeah, me losing my hair to COVID. So this is me taking down my braids. Every time I take down a braid, I'll, tw I'll comb it out, detangle it, twist it. I'll add some conditioner to it just to precondition my hair because like I, I don't know if I said it already, but my I do have a dry texture. So I wanna make sure that it is hydrated before I go in with clarifying shampoo. And by the way, my hair did shed for a couple of months until it stopped. Okay, you guys, so this is the following morning. And yes, I wanna talk about something. <laughs> so when I was taking down my hair last night, I noticed that I was shutting back. I probably mentioned it in the video, but this is some weave hair mixed in with this, but for the most part, this is my hair. And this is how much I shed it when I was taking down my <laughs> eight braids, okay? This, now, when I went to go wash my hair, this is how much came out. So, That shit hurt my it that hurt my heart and I was about to I was about to freak out but then I had to realize that one it's just hair I could fix it I just like I'm just nervous cuz I don't want it it looks thin and my hair was never like thin like this so about for three months every month I would take my hair down wash it condition it and put braids back in it I tried to do less um um, manipulation to my hair as possible, but for that three months, my hair so, did shed. All right, so you saw how much hair came out. Like I took down my braids. Another thing that probably aided to my hair loss is I typically used to um, keep my braids in for a long time. Now I can't do that because of the type of the texture that I have. I don't know what curl texture or whatever. I don't care anything about that. I just know I have very coily and used to have very thick hair until COVID did me dirty, right? So my hair is not as thick as it was. I feel like, um, I'm gonna show you guys what my hair look like now, but I feel like before COVID I had super thick hair and it used to get on my nerves until COVID hit and it took my hair, it took my hair, it took my hair. Like I be wanting to wear my curly hair sometimes and it's just not giving that oomph like it used to. So I ended up getting some clip-ins. So I have some clip-ins from a company called Amazing Beauty. And yeah, so I got two packs of clip-ins. I'm gonna show you guys them and I'm gonna show you guys me putting them in. So they give you some extra clip-ins and they give you a clip and also a pamphlet, okay? And so they tell you how, like the measurements and how to take care of it and everything like that. Now I see a lot of people 
on here, break their hair down and then put the clip-ins on. No, I want my hair out and I want clip-ins in to fill it out because I like, if I want my hair braided up, I'll just wear a wig, okay? So, um, these are 22 inch Afro Curly. I felt like this might be the closest to my natural hair texture, I hope. So, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Let me take it out the packet. So it kind of really looks like my natural hair texture, but I'm gonna wash and condition that, and I'm gonna show that. I mean, I'm gonna show me do that with you guys as well. But, uh, yeah, maybe one bundle is enough, but I'm gonna wash both of them because, girl, <laughs> I want my curl fro. This looks like my curl pattern. Like, it literally looks like my curl pattern. The hair feel out straight out the box. It feels like. Yeah, it feels like it needs to be washed and it's kind of like dry it doesn't smell or anything like that uh, but yeah I'm definitely excited for this because I, I definitely want to wear my curly hair so yeah so these are click clips so you click them but yeah so my hair my natural hair is already washed let me just show you guys that I already got conditioner in it and I actually slept in the conditioner because my hair gets dry super fast. So mind you, my hair was my, almost two and a half times this thick. And it just, COVID just did me so wrong. Um, but yeah, so that's my curl pattern right here. Um, hopefully when I wash this and put conditioner on it, it'll like, you know, get a little bit tamed and not as dry, but we'll see. We'll see. But my hair is still pretty long. It didn't break off. It just stand out. So yeah, let's, you know, wash. can y'all see? <laughs> okay. So. I'm going to just co-wash and I'm going to use my Ozzy Moist and I'm going to use a little bit of silicone mix because this hair is kind of dry to me. So silicone mix as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to wet the hair. So I'm gonna go in with a, a good serving of silicone mix. Get my comb and <laughs> attempt to comb this out. Okay, this is probably gonna take me a minute. Oh yeah, it do look like my hair texture once you start combing it out. So, I am getting some shedding, but shit, this hair texture, that's normal because my normal hair will do the same thing, so. And I find it e it's easier for me to just run my fingers through it than actually using that um, brush to brush through it. But this is 22 inches. This is definitely longer than my hair when it's in its wet state because my hair is. Ooh. So this is what the hair looks like when it's completely combed out. All right, you guys. So I'm in my work room because, like, I could just see better in here. Um, I already put, <laughs> I already put product in my natural hair. Ugh. It's got a white cast on it because I left conditioner in it. And, um, yeah, so. I already have gel and mousse and everything. Okay, so this is my hair. My curl texture right now, but mind you, I blow dry my hair to get braided, so my hair is a little bit looser than normal. You could tell like it's tighter up here versus down there. It's not too loose, but you know, once it's dry, it's gonna shrink, right? So I have my clip-ins. 
This is what it looks like. I feel like it's gonna be a good match. What do you guys think? So the product I'm going to be using on the bundles is mousse. This is Cantu Wave and Curl Mousse. And then for gel, I like to use Extreme Wet Line. I actually like the wet line that's in like the squeezy jar because I don't gotta stick, dig my nails in there. So yeah, but we are gonna do that today. So I rinsed off the bundles, got majority of the conditioner off. I did leave some conditioner in. I think this is gonna be a good match. I'm gonna go ahead. Put some mousse on there, work it in, get some in my gel, put it in my hand, work it in, just to help clump my curls, these, my curls, these curls together. I think my, my natural hair is a little bit darker. Okay, I'm gonna try. It's a good match. It's a really good match. My hair, my hair is, uh, has a great tint to it. So after experience a lot of shedding um, for a couple of for like two months, I went to the doctor and they explained to me that uh, because the fever is a common symptom of COVID nineteen, um, when you experience a fever for a couple of days or you're recovering from an illness that made you have a fever um a noticeable shedding is very common so if you are somebody that had COVID-19 you might have had hair loss you might not have had it I had a bad fever when I had COVID-19 and it took a while for my body to get back to its normal I lost my smell I lost my taste everything smelled like metal I couldn't taste anything um and I had to do a lot of medicines to break the actual um fevers so i did have a maybe a fever for about a week until it like really broke and then um maybe like a like almost a month later i noticed the shedding So I'm adding the clippings into my hair. I'm doing, I guess the naturals call it shingling or something like that. That's what I'm doing to make my curls clump together and pop. So I could go ahead and insert to insert the clippings. Now, um, I probably did four clippings on each side and maybe two in the middle in the back. Um, so I did use two and a half bundle, I mean one and a half bundles of the clippings. And yes, so this is what it this is what I did. So I basically parted my hair. Um, try to make it even on both sides um, actually parting my hair to put the clippings in was the hardest part because my hair was already clumped together to make curls okay so I did this side I'm gonna do the same thing to this side I am gonna have to use a second uh, packet because I own I use one packet and maybe like two on this side so I'm gonna go ahead and use what I need to put on this side and then fill in the back some too because I don't want the back to be like yeah but it's cute so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back and I'll come back when it's all the way in so at this point, I have all the clippings in, and you can see it's sh sh trying to shrink on me, but that's okay because I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse it anyway. So I'm gonna take my Silver Bird um, hair dryer, and then I have an ion diffusing attachment that I like. I got from Sally's. I will have a link to one that I use down below in the description box if you guys are interested. And I basically just diffuse my hair on warm, 
um, to just hurry up and make it dry. Now, I did that because I did not want to wait all day for this hair to dry. So, diffusing it was the, the best thing ever. So, I'm just going to go through my entire head and just make sure that it's dry. By the time I finished diffusing it, my hair was about 80% dry. And that was good for me. The Where my main focus is that I want to make sure that it's dry is my, my roots and my scalp because I don't want to catch colds. You feel me? I don't want to get sick or anything like that. And this is how she turned out. Don't she? Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Okay, you guys, so this is the ending of this video. This is what my hair turned out to look like, and it is awesome. Now, before my hair shed it badly, this is how my hair would have looked, but now it's not this full, so I do wanna start wearing my natural hair out more, and this just gives me a little bit more confidence in doing so because of the fact that my hair did shed because of COVID, all right? Now, this is beautiful and I love it. Um, trust the process. I did layer it a little bit and you can't even tell where my natural hair is and where the clippings are. This matches my natural hair texture to the T. Do you feel me? You see this? Like, girl, all of this is my hair. This is a clipping. Let me, this is a clipping. This is my natural hair texture. It matches it so perfectly. You cannot tell me that this is not my hair. Okay. So um, I did use eight clips all together. All together, eight clips. Four, four on this side, four on this side. And it gave me this even look. If I wanted to go bigger, I could add the rest of the, the bundle that I do have. Um, but this is enough hair for me. I am very satisfied with this. So, um, Yes, I was very worried about picking the hair texture for my hair. Um, like I said in the beginning of this video, I did do a Afro Curly. And the reason why I picked Afro Curly was because it looked like my natural hair texture without any product on it. So it just looked fluffy and undefined when I was looking at the picture. So I was like, okay, I know I have coils and it does give afro looking vibes when my hair is um with the product it's it's my hair is never super defined uh, it's it's kind of defined today but it's still frizzy and i myself love the frizz so i'm not even complaining but when i do put product in it it's never super defined like i see other natural girls hair area like it's just curls on top of curls on top of curls on top of curls mine's is curls, coils, frizz, coil, frizz, coil, frizz. Even if I don't use the diffuser and I do let it air dry, it's still coils and frizz. And I just love my hair texture. It's just so nice, y'all. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you wanna see more natural hair videos from me with my natural hair, let me know. Oh, <laughs> so pretty. Oh my goodness, yes, 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 yes. And so, this is my hairline. I tried to lay my baby hairs, but don't nothing work for me as far as like uh, gel or mousse or anything like that. And I, I didn't cut my bangs. I just diffused my bangs up so they could be a little bit more shrunken than the rest of my hair because my bangs are like down to right here. But yes, <laughs> I'm just at this point. I'm rambling. So if you guys are interested in these clip-ins, these natural clip-ins, I will leave all the information down to the um company that i got my clippings from and yes you guys are definitely going to see me in my natural hair a lot more often i have to figure out a way to wear my hair out and also put on wigs because my hair is still kind of thick but it ain't as thick as this so maybe i could just put water and gel it down into braids and then do my install and be able to come out of my install and have hair like this <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, bye best friend.